Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetech4teachers.com. In this video, I want to share with you Read Write Think's Timeline Tool. This is a great tool for students to use to create timelines that include pictures and text. This tool will work in a web browser. It will also work on an Android tablet or on an iPad. Let's go ahead and get started here. And one of the nice things about Read Write Think is that most of these tools do not require students to have email addresses or sign up for any kind of account. Let's just go ahead and get started here. I'll put in my name. And my project is going to be about the history of the Boston Red Sox. So I'll just call it Red Sox History. And now I can click on the timeline to add my first event. And my first event will be labeled 1918. I'll say sold Babe Ruth. Sold Babe Ruth to the Yankees for one hundred thousand dollars. And started the curse. Let's go ahead and add an image now. Click choose image. And I have this image of Babe Ruth that I found earlier. I'm going to add that in. You can see here that I can reposition the image. I can zoom in if I want to highlight his face. But in my case, I'm going to zoom out because I want to make sure I include the Red Sox in the picture. Now I'll click OK and save that. And now I can just drag and position this timeline element anywhere I like. Let's go ahead and add another timeline element. We'll put in a place there. We'll say 1946. Lost World Series. Lost to the Cardinals. And we'll save it and I can stagger my events up and down on both sides of the timeline. I might put in 1967. Lost World Series. Let's fast forward. We'll skip a few events and we'll go to 2004, one World Series, and broke the curse of the Bambino. And we'll save that and put that up there. Now, I'm going to go on to this finish button and here I can save this as a draft. If I click save as draft, I will be saving the file to my desktop as this read write think file. Uh, this read write think file is a file that I'll then be able to upload back into the timeline tool later and continue to edit. So I'll save that. If I click save final, it's going to create a PDF and I won't be able to go back in and edit the PDF later. So you want to make sure that you're really done uh, when you use that option. I'm going to cancel that. You can also print the final. And if you print the final and you use Google Drive, you could of course save it directly to your Google Drive account or you could actually change your destination and print it to whatever printer you have connected to your device. So that's the Read Write Think Timeline tool. Again, it works on the web, also works for Android and iPads. I encourage you to give it a try. And for more tips and tricks like this, check out freetech4teachers.com.